Well, welcome back everybody to the third match of the day. We have Dusa Gaming versus basically unknown. Both are now down one, well, loss actually. So they will really need to step it up and try to get some wins if they want to go onto the next round in the Mountain Trail Challenge. With me is Dragon. And man, how are you doing? Doing great, man. We, we saw some good games already here. Mind Sanity dominating with the strat and against both of these teams. So. We'll see uh, whether either one of these teams will want to emulate their success with the same kind of style or will they just, they just want to play their own strats and see how it shapes up up against each other. So very excited to see how this is going now. Yeah. And we're actually now we're seeing bands that I want to say are meta relevant. <laughs> yeah. Like at least the yeah. DK and Lash Rack, man. Absolutely. I mean, Wisp is kind of the, the one band that you can always do that you always see in pretty much any patch. If you're worried about that, and Twin Protector also one of these heroes that, I mean, if you think about it, um, uh, the pattern code just kills, so it's going to be more head-to-head, face-to-face -face combat, and the Twin Protector is actually pretty good at tipping the balance just because of Leech Seed and because of living armor, not to mention his own pretty, uh, pretty strong base damage, so when it comes to early fighting, he's one of the better supports to have, so it's also kind of a relevant ban in that regard. It definitely is, and also he just combos up with so many heroes, so great. You know, with the overgrowth later on, so... I want to say that we'll see this ban a little bit more. However, I don't, I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of acronyms or anything on him. Because the matches end fairly, yeah, well, fast. Yeah. So what is it, 20 to 30 minutes matches most so far? Well, that seems to be the trend here, and uh, I've won pretty much like it. So, of course, there will be people on Twitter and in the scene like... uh. Gorg and the halves, they will do the math on that and will tell us the average game time pretty damn soon once they have more data. Uh, man, it just does seem like we see some shorter Rain matches, Rain less Rain matches Rain. that are really passive for 20 minutes until uh, one or two fights up on high ground to yeah, decide the match one way or the other. Rain so we, we love that, much more exciting to see in my opinion. Yeah, it's a lot more lively and more things happen. This is one thing I actually do want to say, do the game, you only have 30 seconds left on their reserve time. <laughs> I thought, what was it, almost more than two minutes about picking Lina. So I hope yes. they have their entire draft thought out now, because they will be in some problem. Yeah. And you pick Lina, insta, uh, insta pick Clockwork. Lina isn't good versus Clockwork. Well, uh, If you get initiated on, then okay yeah. then. But I, that's the initi because Clockwork shouldn't get called out by Lina. Time. Yeah. That way it's used there as well. I mean, if Clockwork doesn't catch Lina and Lina is in the general vicinity, you have pretty much an easy setup for a sun strike, uh, for yeah. light strike array. That's true. But then if you do catch the Lina, you're gonna have a really hard time because Clockwork battery sold. Um, okay, or... Not too sure about the cast times on on the light strike array, how much how long it actually takes to get it going, whether it's being cancelled by a battery assault or not. But um, let's see, zero. Um, no, it won't be cancelled actually. Zero point seven versus zero point five cast time on Lina. So oh, she's yeah. able to get it up, but even if she gets late lightning strike away of what's five seconds remaining, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, uh, especially once the clock will gets uh, gets a blade mail, which I do see in this game. Reserve time. Um, <laughs> Lina's not gonna be able to fight that at all without killing herself. So this is then the good like pick the versus this. Yeah. Rubik be able to lift up the, the clockwork, throw him out of the cocks, and make sure that Lina survives and essentially has a free ring, yeah, um, protective side all everywhere for. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I really like it and for that sense. Also with the clockwork, uh, with Rubik versus clockwork, you're able Five to steal well, pretty much anything is already good. If you're able to get some good clocks, you can, uh, blocks, Reserve I mean, time. you can are able to get like a team fight already going your way. If you can steal hook shot, which isn't actually Reload. that hard to do, Band. you can also just keep on going. So there are a lot to steal already. Yep. Yeah, anything you get from the Zeus, anything you get from the clockwork, pretty much. Can really help you out. Maybe not the battery assault because Rubik is not not that kind of hero. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like the pickup as well. So. You think they're gonna ban uh, Magnus now? <laughs> Thinking about it, I do believe. Yeah. When you have ten more seconds or so to actually do it. Yeah. We might be seeing some randoms from them. Like, okay, they go for Fiend. I, fi I think this might be a game where we see uh, a rise in the Magnus. I would love that. Yep. Radiant team pick. Never had the pleasure of casting that. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, Magnus is coming back, and uh, I've seen him picked up a couple of times recently. And yeah, they're, they're uh, together with one of the uh, with the carry. 
like okay. a juggernaut even that's that has been nerfed a little bit but it still benefits from from this empower most of all i mean you i don't think you should pick the magnus uh just to have just for the rp just because you have a wombo combo with that which would look super cool if you eventually uh, get it off it's just not not how it always works in competitive dota i mean this Little chance to actually uh, win the game off of that because of the position name, because of the execution from the other team as well, just being on a on a level where that's not really easy to pull off. So what you what you need to do when you pick a Magnus is um, make sure that you use it for for the other Five impact that he can have in a fight, which is mostly the empower to uh, buff up his his carry so he can farm much much quicker, um, be it the jungle, the lanes, Five or ancients or stuff like remaining. that. And then at the same time have a uh, good amount of laning time. presence, some safe CS with the shockwave, and pick. some initiation potential as well on one or two targets with RP skewer. Yeah, but I do think actually we'll see the Magnus more, even though though all what you just said in public play he won't be used as much for the empower just for Wombo Cobo and competitive. Yeah. Their power comes more in play, but I think yeah. he will be picked more, mostly because of there's an immortal item. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's it's actually how it goes. Yeah. It is, it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're talking about competitive Dota yeah, here. Yeah, so we're talking about not, competitive Dota. Exactly I am wondering the... if we're going to see any Immortals. <laughs> I want to see Immortals. Yeah. There's so far, none of these heroes have had a new Immortal. Chen. Chen doesn't have a new Immortal either. Yep. Okay. Does fit the um, meta. Yep. Uh, with the pushing, you know, the, the Hand of God able to heal everybody up back again. Peeps just being able to push out constantly. Although versus Lina is able to clear them up fairly effectively, I want to say, with the Dragon Slave with Lightning. Luna. Yeah, it's decent. Okay, Luna. So we see the Chen, which is the pushing component Luna. for basically unknown, and Dusa as well with the Luna. Back Maybe she has the Immortal. I would love to see it in action. And you've got mine early, as I said, but I haven't, obviously I haven't got a chance to play with it here. And Phantom Lancer, okay. Oh, they don't uh, actually have an answer. Yeah, they don't really have a good answer versus him. Luna is... Yeah. Once you can start right-clicking, it's fine, but her ultimate is fairly poor for it. Yeah. Light Hunter. Not so good either, okay, because you're you're actually able to dodge the the ravage if you're more on the side with doppelganger. Yep. Rubik and Lina will just eat a lot. Same goes for Luna until she has a BKB. Yep. We like seeing the Phantom Lancer. I think he fits very well into into this fighting meta, so to speak, uh, because he is that kind of a brawler with a doppelganger with the third lands. Of course, it has been unchanged, but just because uh, since ever since he got changed, um, he. Uh, well, he was less of a pushing hero, or less of a split pushing hero, and more of a brawler, just because on the back of that doppelganger. And yeah, it's, you don't have that, what is it, that so illusions for so long. Now it's like yeah. a couple of seconds and then you lose them. Yeah. But yeah, that, that dances itself very well to just to just straight up fight and just doppelganger on top of someone. Uh, even have a mental style and then just have a million illusions. And if, if you can't deal with them, I mean, Dusa has. An okay amount of AoE damage here. Titan can pop the Ravage to at least give yourself a little bit of breathing space. Queen of Pain Ultimate should be able to handle the illusions as well. If there's a million of them. Same for Lina and uh, Luna, uh, as I said, if she starts right clicking. But then again, the ultimate, which is a big part of the Luna in the early and mid game. If you don't get a good ultimate off, then. You lose a lot of damage <laughs> because you lose so a lot of damage. You, yeah, you, you might lose the fight on the back of that. And because it takes a long time for Luna to get up the right click damage. It does, but let's uh, do a quick team introduction before the <laughs> it all starts again. We're on, <laughs> on the Luna, we have Live Long Tragy playing on Dusa with the Dire side. We have Nord playing the Rubik. We have AH playing the Lina. We have 44 playing the Queen of Pain, and we have Flo playing the Tide Hunter. On the other side of the river, we've got Mind Control playing the Clockwork here in the offlane. Running mid is going to be Arise on Zeus, also known as Dumpster Player here, apparently. Pure Evil gonna be supporting on Shen, he's gonna take over the jungle. Nico Baby on the carry Phantom Lancer, which only leaves Stomanen on the Witch Doctor. Oh, I'm so actually quite jealous of the way that you can pronounce it so well. I'm so <laughs> terrible in pronouncing that. Well, it's all practice, man. All practice. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the experienced caster between the two of us, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see. They're actually going to be running an offensive... Okay. Yeah, it has been spotted though by uh, by basically unknown that there's going to be an offensive stride lane versus them and they're already returning or switching up their lanes. Chen is going aggressive jungle and they will just leave the clockwork uh, just here alone. <laughs> yeah. Alright, aggressive Chen jungle, not quite sure how that, that'll work out, but definitely probably the better decision here facing this stride lane. They can, they can easily rotate into the Chen jungle and 
Maybe he figured that they would have blocked more camps than they actually did. Because they were making an aggressive rotation or yeah. through the jump. But yeah, uh, this aggressive try and actually really like that. It, it seems like um, the teams remember what uh, try ins could be like with the Luna. Um, yeah. Because it's actually pretty damn strong. You have the nuke of your own with the Lucent Beam, and you also give a lot of extra damage to yourself and your teammates with the Luna Blessing. So, yeah, you have plenty of lockdown between Rubik and uh, the Lina as well. Yeah, the only problem uh, with the Trident is that you, of course, have a lot of low HP. Yeah. But yeah, that doesn't matter if they fight Mighty Troll like this. They're putting in bed, Lightning Strike Ray is there, and they're just gonna get right click him down. All this extra damage is doing a lot. The shield procs, though. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still gonna die. <laughs> Man, those were like, bit longer, but yeah. those were like shield proc, shield proc, shield proc, and <laughs> value item. But yeah, it's <laughs> they changed it, right? Um, the, the damage went uh, down and the block chance went up. Uh, for start shield? Yeah, oh yeah. Start shield. Okay. The next you notice that. Oh, they're gonna go again here. Mind control. He has the set of cards. You could do quite a bit, but he's getting. Yeah, it's already too late. Full yeah. of stun. Yeah. They're just gonna write them. Are you using some battery assault? Maybe another Cox? No, too late. Oh, and man. what's he? Oh, Mango used. I'm Mango. Lina. Now. Mango. Uh, that actually, uh, also, that's one of these situations where that amplifies the strength of the Stry lane. I mean, have a couple of mangoes between you, so you can have maybe one more charge of that combination. I mean, Rubik didn't have one, but he has a clarity, so. Yeah, you do have. This is the one thing with a mango or versus clarity. Clarity is cheaper and you usually do have downtime in tri lanes. Yeah. You are able to stand back and just let it go. Uh, get back. But we'll see. How much aggression will they be putting on to flow now? Chen, where are his creeps? I know, might have oh, lost one. Middle. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, just helping out Zeus a little bit. I don't, don't disagree with that. I mean, Zeus can have a hard time up against Queen of Pain. Just because of the harassment, but I mean, sure, you're always going, you're always going to be able to get your CS as a zoo simply because you can stand back and then arc lightning. But you have to be careful up against the Queen of Pain not to take too much burst damage, not too much harassment. Yeah, the, then once that happens, they will just jump you down. Again, I'm actually my open mic is on, but I, I can't see it in game. That's really weird. But, yeah, maybe. The, oh wow. Well, okay. Yeah, that's um. that's the other part of it. The burst damage coming out of uh, <laughs> of a rise <laughs> and lag. Oh, jet phone. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Then. <laughs> That's usually why people pass like shit. Like <laughs> uh, maybe you can just uh, turn off your open mic and then try and turn it on again. Oh yeah, it I did. Fixes it sometimes. Well. I did at the exact same moment that that happened. So. It's really weird. I still need to fix that though. There's also like this. Uh, I believe with Dota TV, once you start talking, you will first be like. <laughs> And then you hear somebody talking, and then when he's not talking, you sound again. Yeah. Uh, it should be something that would be patched out fairly. Yeah, it's and not ideal for broadcasters. That's for sure. And we have a go sign from Dusa, but my insanity still has to say yes or no. Go, go, go. Okay. It seems that we'll start again. And uh, they fight me. Yeah, they're just. Look at this lockdown, it's all perfectly changed. Yeah. This good it's coordination. Just, just an extra source of income for them at this point, right? Yeah. Hey, what level is he? He's level okay, he's almost getting level three, but Tide Hunter is already a little bit more ahead of him. He got oh, it's actually I have my list wrong, okay, yeah. And he actually got a double amount of last hits in compared to uh, to the clockwork, so yeah, but no, neither of them are getting too much. I mean, Titan, of course, him not dying is better for him, of course. So, <laughs> and of course, not Clockwork giving up kills to a Luna of all of all heroes. The Luna yeah. gets off to a quick BKB. And That's gonna be. He might be in a little bit of trouble yeah, if the if the Phantom Lance isn't there to uh, counteract the counteract the illusions or counteract the Eclipse a little bit. Yeah, actually, uh, although the, there are many kills on bot lane, Luna isn't uh, doesn't have more uh, net worth than the. Really does. Oh yeah! Wow, that's, that's actually weird. This is weird. <laughs> and there you go. They actually smoke now to yeah. kill Might Control. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, Luna actually didn't get the last hits on the kills, so only yeah. three lists. I see him. 
We will change this time. So there's going to be the cards. Oh, until he's out. out. Lightning Strike Array is going to be there. There's going to be Dragon Slave. The Cox actually hitting him all the time. But, uh, it's not going to be enough. He's just going to die now. <laughs> he knows it too. Just stands there. And he's like, God damn it, guys. Leave me alone. Yeah, uh, it's the first actual last hit on Ludan. 2,000 gold almost in the bank. And actually, top, uh, they got the kill with PL on the tight hunter. Oh, nice. That tight hunter was also start having a bit of time. Tunicals ref straight into his face. That's not nice when you come back to lane. What tight hunter almost level 4 will have? Oh god, they're gonna rock around, yeah. Gotta help their smasher. He's great, uh, they hit him. by the way. So. He does a lot of damage, yeah. And they're just walking him down. Taking the, the. And there you go. Oh, teleport yes. reaction and stuff. Yeah, there's not, not a lot to say about it. They just rotated in. He was. He, even though he was a tower, it just wasn't enough. They're already, yeah. They're already actually tier 1 ahead for Tusa. Really using the Luna there. You think they will start rotating middle? I would, well, first stop, I think they're gonna contest uh, Nico, Nico on the PL first. Yeah, I mean, if he's low on mana, he's not gonna be able to use a lot of double gang. I mean, he leaves it at level 1 as well for now, so. Which is the normal build up, actually. Which, which is normal yeah. build up, but yeah, but uh, it does mean that it's a, it's a 25 second cooldown. They're not going to be able to use more than once in a fight. Oh, I think they know who's the real one. Yeah, they're gonna lift up, pull him back. Lightning strike away, he's not gonna hit. Oh, almost though. That was really close. He almost went to the wrong illusion. <laughs> almost some RNG for AH. Well, the tower goes down, but they at least they uh, get a little bit of space for flow to actually get a couple of last sets here as well. And almost at level four. Where's Luna? They, they can leave it alone right now. It's, I think it's really hard for basically unknown to actually gank him up without him being able to turn around and pop an eclipse. I mean, yeah, Phantom Lancer is not going to be able to He's going in fairly aggressive though, he's oh, gonna wow. get lift up. They found the real one, but they're first able to get AH. And uh, now they actually still keep on going, Zeus is there. Oh man, Flo, he is low, he just needs one or two more clicks. And oh, there's Spirit Lance. Oh, he uses his solve though! And no. Still there, there is a Rise just dishing out the magical damage with his uh, lightning. Good rotation from him here. Yeah. Just ensuring these two kills. Yeah, if they had the Ravage there already, then it would have maybe a different fight if the tier 1 was still alive, but... Yeah, they yeah, could have known just... Yeah, basically known uh, have just been able to put on too much pressure here since the... Aggressive trialing was working out so well for uh, for Dusa and bottom. So in that sense, mind control has been creating space. So... <laughs> yeah, positive <but> notion. <laughs> That's always something, yeah. And, oh no, they see pure evil. They're gonna lift him up. And Lightning Strike away, he's actually gonna miss! There was some miscommunication, but still 44 is here to pick up the kill. It just wants to play with his feelings. Yeah. It was... No. You're gonna survive? No. Oh no! No! Leave me alone! Oh, please! Please! Stop this! Yeah, they're, they're looking to go middle now. Take the tower. They're actually not in really in a position to defend. Oh, what? Roman, what's he doing here? Yeah, he's a little bit too forward. He's gonna get lifted up. And again, lightning strike away. He's gonna miss. And the tornado doing so much work here together with that Meldic. He's gonna die. Dead hero, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that was. How often do you see that? Meldic plus a freaking tornado from a wild wing ripper. Killing a hero. <laughs> not often. <laughs> no, not at all. Seems to be working, though. Know? I was gonna get revenge, but. <laughs> yeah. Still. That was actually, I want to say that was maybe a little bit more bad play from Dusa there as well. Miss, miss, yeah. Yeah, and not, not, not respecting that enough. Yeah. Not hitting the lightning strike away onto the... Yeah, that as well. Because that is something that you should hit like 99%. Yeah, especially with the with as good as the setup from the Rubik as you have. I mean, it's kind of the, the perfect setup. But yeah, okay, shit happens. They're still fine for now. Yep. I mean, Luna's farming and he's so baby, but Luna's slowly but surely starting to get ahead, and now he will find the PL. And we'll get the hell out of here. <laughs> the clip's not really useful here, and this Nico baby is super unlucky, but Luna pretty damn fast. Gonna be able to get the hell out. Oh, oh no, we missed the kill on middle. Our rise was popped by 44. And there's gonna be the cat's gonna bounce. No, Maledict hits though. He's TPing out. <laughs> oh no, he's still in. No. That's. That's sad that he didn't see that, but he can't stop it. Smoke from Norton AH. 
What makes something happen here? Smoke gets popped, pure evil, they will find him. No, they will actually find... Uh, we'll actually find Luna, okay. Yeah, <laughs> they used a hook shot to initiate on him and just killed him. So this was something that they need, put him down. It was actually a low, low amount of gold that they get for Luna. They revised it. Oh, wow. I was expecting at least over 200 gold for the Luna kill, but... He isn't. I control. Yeah, there must be on the lower end of, um, of the Oh god, 44. Oh no, 44. He's fighting for his Nico baby <laughs> and he will just blink out. That was close. Oh, well, Nico, he needs to. He's gonna sell. Oh, Dragon Slayer! No! Doppelganger in time! Oh wow. Oh, they were so close. Oh. The plays are real, man. The plays are real. <laughs> man, uh, that was scary. Doppelgang is so freaking good. Especially in these kind of circumstances, just being able to dodge everything. It's Relatively just... easy as well if you have a lot of cooldown. It's like a. You're off the map for one second. Uh oh, oh, my control is seen by North. He's gonna get lift up. Is, will the follow up be there in time though? They're all lingering um, around. Yeah. 44 is able to get in. A itch. Yeah, he's gonna be walking around. If he's trying to turn around, he knows he's dead. He's just gonna try to do as much damage as possible. And uh, still gonna die. That's sad, but. At least made him work for it. Take the extra five steps. Well, he, he resigned to his fate at this point, right? That's, uh, yeah. that's the fifth death for him. And yeah, then again, he got his level six already, so he, he already had the impact with the first hook shot. And at the end of the day, that's all you really are looking for in a clockwork. Uh, sure, ideally, you want to have a four stuff, you want to have an axe scepter at some point. But yeah, if you, you can hit your hook shots even without the axe, and uh, you, you're okay with that. It can work out for your team. Yeah, if you die for it, but your team gets a good uh, your team fight out of it, it's Oh, top lane. Oh, they got life look crazy. Oh, they're using two TPs already. They will try to defend this. Oh, no! Ravage is there on time! Nico Baby's gonna get stunned down in time. No, he won't. He's able to get long lived kill. But will you pay for this? Yes, he will. He's gonna die as well. So this is position one for position one. And, well, oh. that part is there for Stoneman. It's not enough to kill them up. But at what cost, Sander? At what cost? Yeah. Well, pretty even trade here. A little bit more for the side of Dusa. Yeah, was a little bit is ahead on the Luna, so yeah. Still, it's a one for one trade on your core, so I don't think anyone wants that. Because I, yeah, who will win the late game? Actually, what do you think? Between just uh, just looking uh, at the two cores, not taking into account that the Queen of Pain and the Ravage on the side of Dusa. This is two core set. Oh god, hookshot in mid. No, it is a little bit of trouble to get the first pass. So. That's a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> it's a good question. I, would, I do want to say... Um, Nico Baby wins that in the straight 1v1 fight, right? Because he's always going to have illusions, which means that... Um, sure, the glaives are going to be there, he's able to counteract that a little bit, but they're not going to be able to clear out heavily found illusions when PL has like a heart and a butterfly. And yeah, Luna's Eclipse and also the Wizard Beam to some degree, you're not always going to be able to target the right PL without any help. So I would, I would give that to Phantom Man, so all things being equal. Because okay. it all matters on, it all hinges on the initiation. If they can get the Ravage like in top lane again and then uh, isolate the real Phantom Lancer and then, then they can burst them down easily. I do, I personally think like one versus one, the course, yeah, they all should win that. But I think with the whole team composition in late game, I want to say Dusa. Yeah, I mean, Chen does fall off even though he's received all these buffs. Dusa skates pretty damn well. Witch Doctor as well, though, with the um, with the Death Ward, especially if he manages to save himself up enough money for an Agnum Setter. But yeah, on you the other hand, you have BKB. Yeah, you will need BKBs in everyone. Because yeah. let's say if he gets an Agnum in a BKB, I'm pretty sure Flo will have a refresher orb uh, yeah. against it. So. It's gonna be double ravage, it's gonna be a, uh, the Luna. If, if Luna's farmed, it's a good spread damage carry, right? You, you don't have the sickest single target damage, but you can fight up against the entire team. Um, and then Queen of Pain, pure damage ultimate. Lina, pure damage ultimate with an Aghanim Scepter. And 950 pure damage is always going to be good as well. Then you have the Rubik, able to make plays as well. Uh, if you see, even still like the Hand of God, you already make such a big play. Yeah. Or the Hookshot, Death Ward is fairly easy to steal. Oh, yeah. So, for Rubik game, I think it's actually a pretty good Rubik game. Also, the, of course, the uh, the Aura is doing a lot of work, but it's actually 14 minutes and he's still level 4. 
<laughs> that might be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. I think he needs to leech a little bit of XP. The support's actually fairly under leveled on the side of Duvan. Even though the tri lane really went away. Yeah, uh, the problem with tri lanes is, I mean, sure, you have to get killed, but if it's only a solo clockwork that you get these kills against, he's still gonna uh, keep up in terms of experience if he just stays alive for a little bit in the lane. And when you're spreading out one lane's worth of experience across the three heroes without being able to utilize the jungle in, a, in a, an effective manner, then you really need to get a lot of kills to make that worthwhile. Yeah. Honestly, After that, Lord has been lot. spending a lot of time rotating around, not really sticking the land for too long, so... Actually, it didn't go to Swartz, there's a lot of damage. <laughs> there was one also, bringing down to a third of course. Yeah, that's, that's just, so, yeah, it should be level 11, that's all right. Yeah. It's gonna be tough for the support, not for Luna, she needs to be gonna be ASAP now. Yeah, it's probably going to be the next item. No reason not to not to do that. The reason Unless you like if you get late things. game, you you won't have a full big game. Yeah. Apart from that, yeah. You won't get to uh through late game. Just look these preemptive cocks put down, oh my god. <laughs> it's no, so it's, heads up. <laughs> the saw rotation here it seems like big. No, it wasn't smoked up, or maybe the smoke broke. Yeah, they were. Or maybe they smoked under the ward. No, they just. Uh, no, they actually, they, they smoked here. Oh, okay. And then just good game sense. Oh god, look at this little bit. <laughs> like six freaking skeletons there. That, I should that, say that they should be able to, to clear it up fairly easy with flow and AH. Just imagine the alchemist here with these six, uh, six skeletons. It would have been so much extra gold. Oh, yeah. Oh man, 44. Oh, we're still able to blink out. Do you think this will be the Yasha or the user blade? Oh, it dies again. So the mind control here. Oh. Run down with the haste rune, so yeah, that's nothing you can do there. Yeah, I wasn't actually looking. Okay. Will this be the answer to my impression? Yeah, never mind. We're gonna see the fuse blade first on the Unico baby now. Mm, yeah, good item. I mean, sometimes it's easy to see them go mana style first, but. I don't know why they do that. I, I, unless you have like a silence that you need to get rid of, it's, I don't think you should ever do that because your yeah. illusions won't do anything. Do, do, don't do any damage. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just see the casual Yasha and then into the Fusal Blade, which, which is good because Yasha gives you a little bit of everything, right? A little bit of movement speed, a little bit of damage. So it's good for just farming up. But then again, in this new patch, farming is, is not where the focus lies. And once you fight, and of course, the Fusal Blade on Phantom Lance is one of the most effective items when it comes to damage output. Definitely. Not so much the slow that you can get on top of the uh, Spirit Land slow, so... And if you play this version Omni Knight, you're also, you know, the debuffing them, purging, yep. that was the word, purging them, so... Then it really gets worthwhile, but I don't think there's a lot of purging the patch. And Hookshot again on North! Oh no, he steals uh, the cogs, but yeah, he puts it down again, so it's a little bit annoying, <laughs> I control. <laughs> <laughs> It's a cute play, but yeah, yeah it's, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> Not a fun game for the Rubik just yet. So. No. It shouldn't, yeah, this is a problem if he goes alone anywhere. Drawing it out, they know that they're somewhere in their jungle. Or at least they expect him to be in their jungle. Oh, wars on each other. I think uh, basically no one's gonna lose that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Tusa picks up on there. So. You think we're gonna see the Guardian Grief some pure evil today? Uh, maybe. Maybe. He's building mecha, so... It's One problem I do have with Guardian Grief is the recipe is way too expensive for support to be able to pick up easily. Yeah, but then again, what, what else does Chen pick up after the mechanism? I mean... Aghanim oh, uh, Scepter, yeah, but that's also Vladimir's? a lot of gold, so... Vladimir's? Good what? Vladimir's game. Vladimir's? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Vladimir's would be good. But yeah. I don't know, it really oh, depends on Solar to. Crest or something. Yeah. Don't get Roshan. I want to see Solar Crest on Mind Control, though, but he's going. Uh... Actually, do you think it's. No. I don't think Witch Doctor will be picking up a Solar Crest in the time. <laughs> nah, he, he definitely still wants the Agnum Scepter. And maybe even BKB first with that. He's skipping his options open right now with the Ogre Club. I think he will be building likely BKB first just because there's so much. Uh, Disables and AoE disables, especially on the Lusa. 
If Lightning Strike away, you refuge. You, and after that, you have so many single targets as well, so. It's hard to get a good one up. But then again, on the other hand, I mean, if you. You are in a position where they can get in range to stun you up, and if they're also in range, they just burst you down with quite a little bit of uh, pure damage that they have. But yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. see what it picks up. Yeah. Speaking of pure damage here, Queen of Pain went for that Aghanim Scepter, level 2 ultimate already. And that's a low cooldown now, 40 seconds. And for, <coughs> for 450 pure damage now. That's pretty decent. At least, uh, basically, no, at least trading now, they're also taking a tower for them. Yeah. But at least Luna isn't close to a uh, BKB yet. Uh, BKB, I mean Aghanims. He's going uh, heals first. I see Tide Hunter. Oh, no, he might, he might be in trouble, but... He doesn't have Ravage now. Alright, oh, never mind. There's a Mango though. Mind Control goes in, he fucks him up, and Flo is just dead straight away. AH is gonna be the next target. BL's focusing him down. He's able to get him. Yes, he will. And now... Oh, no. There, everybody is here now. But they're just too spread out. North is gonna go down now. Push for yes, able to blink away now. Yeah. This is going in one by one, where you don't have your Ravage anymore, though. Yeah, that was not the best idea. Maybe defeat to tier 3. I think that fight was lost at the moment you lose your uh, your Tide Hunter. Yeah. And it's also exactly the fights where Phantom Lancer shines. Um, just being able to chase thanks to that Zealot Rush that he has, at the Phantom Rush. Kind of the Zealot Shot from Starcraft 2, if you think about it. Um, plus the Doppelganger, just being able to put you that much closer to everyone else. Um, plus the fuse blade and slows that he has it. I mean, you can't really run away from him in that kind of situation, and yeah, he saw why. If you run away, you're just dead. <laughs> oh, they actually used commit. quite a lot here about the Asians to kill off the uh, the Chankries, but he just <laughs> used them up. <laughs> oh, that was so annoying. I think he lost maybe one, but they spent uh, an ultimate on it. Actually, the blink has also just been picked up by the Rise after his Bloodstone. It's 12 charges. Nice. This has been oh, a yeah, good game. Yeah. He, he's on the right rotation, he's on the kill 6 1 or 5 now. And um, yeah, 12 charges on the bluff zone confirm that, so. Charging so moves. It is, yep. Yeah. So he has essentially <laughs> one item, is it? Tire inventor. It's kind of shit in a nutshell, though, right? I mean, that's all you really get him for, right? Being able to push thanks to his creeps and being able to sustain you uh, on the back of the ultimate as well as his items. Do you think yeah, he's gonna buy some fa uh, what, some value iron branches for it? <laughs> you might as well fill up some spaces, I think. Like yeah. 50 gold. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter for him. I mean, I, I do expect the Aghanim Scepter next. Yeah, why not? You already got your. Uh, your mecha oh, without mana cost. And oh no. Lo he's using his BKB though. He's able to find him fairly effectively for his micro. And they don't really have the damage right now to kill him off when he's in his BKB. Yeah. But it's a 10 second BKB for just a hook shot and that part. Yep. Those are relatively low cooldowns, both of those, so. Yeah, if that was level 2 death ward, then maybe they could have gotten it, but Stormon and still at level 9, unfortunately. Yeah, the supports are pretty uh, starved for levels, I'm going to say. On both sides, really. Nord yeah. level 7, uh, AH level 8. Then also not quite level 11, but he's getting close at least. Yeah, then the core is almost scratching at level 16 on both sides, so... Let's just take a really fast look at the graphs. I, I think it's gonna be a head for unknown. Yeah. Actually, almost... Almost 7.5k. Just over 3k in that graph. But I would expect... I expect the gold to be a little bit less, but... Okay. Yeah. I mean... Uh, dudes are definitely not out of it just yet. They, as I said, I would, I would give the late game to them. What's that? If they get their items. If they get there, yeah. And if they don't just get bomb rushed uh, with some hexes that come out on the back of the clock with plus that board. I guess uh, but he's going for step first. No worries about the jet, but yeah, I think it's a good pickup to get some hexes on this, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah, hexes are. Are going to be the late game choice for unknown. I mean, they they're kind of lacking lockdown, apart from the 
I mean, can't recount the cast, it's really unreliable, and apart from that, you only have the Clockwork, really, to control the fights, so I would expect some scythes uh, at some point later. But yeah, not just yet. I mean, Phantom Lancer will want to build right click, will want to build tanky. Uh, looking for Skadi now next, it seems, or maybe just the Mantle Star with that ultimate all three. Um, and yeah, which Doctor, of course, going for it. Yeah, it is Skadi, okay, have to turn Curry already, so. Okay, how do you? But even more slow, even more tankiness, fighting potential. I don't know, think, I, like I do think he should get a Manta this game, though. Yeah, even though you have the glaze yeah. and stuff. It's, it, there is already buffing up his illusions quite a bit, and with the Diffuser Blade. Yeah. Lucid will have a tough time dealing with that. Oh, have you heard the new sound for the Guardian Reefs already? Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, awesome. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I also love the particle effect. That uh, was the green bluish. Yeah. But I, I think the sound is a little bit too happy, maybe. Eee, it's really <laughs> ping noise. I can't really reenact it, but it's. In comparison to the mecha, it's a little bit too light. Uh, fluffy. Oh, fluffy. <laughs> the fluffy sounds. It's a fluffy sound. I like fluffy. The word, but yeah. The uh, sound it is. I'm okay. not quite sure if it makes sense in this uh, in this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make scene. sense, but it's, it's just. I want it to be a little bit menacing, you know, dark. Like you're fighting, you need a mecha, like boom. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fine though. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're gonna smoke up again. Side of uh, Dusa. Okay. See, what what yeah, would yeah, it be? Yeah, they have. Yeah. they have. Buckler for flow, what's, what's he getting? Mecha. Okay. Mechanism, yeah, of course. Maybe they can make something happen. He also has a blink dagger, but we haven't really seen all the many ravages just yet, apart from that one in the top that netted them the kill on the Phantom Lancer. Oh, oh no, 44, he's actually gonna die. Oh wow. That's this rotation nice. is, it might be too late. Nor is he able to get off? Oh, they just refuge for mind control. Oh, okay. There's a lot of commitment for Zinni. He's doing a lot of damage back. He was there as well. He's just surviving through all of this. <laughs> They're all so low. This is gonna be clean up time for a rise right now. He's getting one kill. He's looking for flow. He has blink. No, it just gets for the last second he dies. Milan dies in the back and oh long live. He's trying to find anybody, but just look at the jukes here. And <laughs> yeah, pure evil just sends him back to base. Oh my god. That oh, was okay. That was just I don't wanna say it, but it was poor decision making for Dusa. I mean just using all their spells on the freaking blade mail of all things. He is stuck! He's stuck down here under the cover of the tap water and Chen Crew's here. Oh my god. Oh, that was surreal. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Chen helping out from beyond the grave, even. Uh, even sacrificing himself for uh, for Zeus. For Rise there and then <laughs> using his creeps. Let the killer do that. Oh, it's just. Unreal, it's just good man. plays unreal. coming out from him, man. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's just such a good play to make. Basically, you just sacrifice one of your creeps together with an ultimate to kill him. Well, hey, I will take yeah. it any day. Absolutely. And you, now uh, it's almost a... Well, actually, the Aghanims is done. On yep. the Showman. Next time it's only gonna get worse, so... <laughs> they, they need to focus him down now as well. And there's just too many things to focus for them to focus. I want to talk a little bit about the mecha uh, pickup on Titan. I don't think he should have done this. Yeah, it's, it's really late, and what does we do for them? I mean, you have so much damage to, uh, to contend with that that 250 is not going to be it's not going to make much of a difference. No, oh, and he doesn't really have the mana for it. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> like somewhere in the fight, he needs to walk to Nord, who is the only one with with arcanes. Let's see anybody else. Nope. He did go for Treads, not for Arcane's himself, so that's actually a really good point. Like, can, what's he, he gonna can do? Cast mech and maybe, can cast Mac and maybe Ravage with Intreads? Yeah, and then what? Then he's... The, yeah. <laughs> they, they blink out! Guys, I did it! <laughs> they are offering no Anchor Smash, no reduced damage, no Gush to slow and minus armor. Just... Yeah. I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. I think you're better off getting something else. Maybe even a 4 staff. Yeah, it also costs mana, but it also gives you a little bit of mana, so... <laughs> Good control. Oh, the hookshot does find 44 here! Oh, that's being ganked up, ganked up, and now... First hand, next one on the target list, and... 
There's a hammer ravage available, but do they have the damage to follow up with? Yeah, they do have the buyback now. On 44, and that's the kind of damage that they need. AoE pure damage. But I don't know if uh, I'm normal for that. Oh no. Big AB pop by, Lina, uh, by Luna. He's, is he able to get a rise out of this? And of God is there? No. Oh, uh, there's also Rev on the back there. Oh, Rev is hitting pretty much everybody. Sonic Wave there as well. They're actually only able to kill off one with that. Whoa, I thought they did a lot more. Lifelong Treasure is now trying to get out. And oh no, there is the net. He's gonna stay there and he's gonna oh, no. die. The cast bouncing between Luna and the and the wolf that he, that he brought. That was not ideal. No. But, but yeah, they did some good damage with the Ravage on, um, on Shen and Witch Doctor, but Pico Baby was untouched by that thanks to Double Ganger. And thanks to Scotty as well, I would say. I mean, <laughs> they, had, they have no solution for this Phantom Lancer right now, so it was just able to clean up. Yeah, and also Zeus actually denied himself just before uh, he was killed. <laughs> so that was just essentially wa everything wasted on him by the Luna. He's already back now, they're trying to wrap around on him. Down oh, Hypnix in, he gets straight up the heals actually. Like, right away, Sonic Wave. You're gonna blade as well, he's gonna die right now. But at what cost? First one to fall, well, actually, first one to fall. Both supports are to fall. 44 is just has to blink out and TP. At what cost indeed? It's gonna open up the tier 3 tower here in the bottom lane. Close there, but it does not have Rapid from the 72nd. Oh, look, he's just straight up gonna die. Without a mana boat, Nico Baby don't have to do all the repairs, but should still be enough. A 44! Oh, Death Ward here just. <laughs> this does a little bit. Look at this, Nico Baby, he just keeps on going. Yes, he <laughs> hates. This is so crazy. Doesn't get, now we find, we'll find 44 wobbling oh. out of the time. That was close. Oh, good, yeah. The last charge from the Meldix almost getting him there, but. Yeah, zoned them out. Yeah, and he pretty much has full mana, Nagus, like, hey. Yeah, no fear. Absolutely no fear. You have Chen in the back as well, you have mind control being able to jump in, disrupt the fight, initiate for you if necessary. Yeah, he's looking for it here. Blue cake on Luna. Oh, oh, Sonic Wave just for uh, Grief. Yeah. He just, just uses his Grief. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, uh, enough at this point without any follow up now. Yeah, Life on Curvy, Curvy just being harassed out by Nico Baby. Now it joins the fight here. Instantly blowing oh, up. Oh, Nord is dead. He has a Glimmer Cave. <laughs> He's actually gonna survive for a couple more seconds because of it, but long li live long tragedy. He's gonna fall. Although it's a BKB, the yeah, the physical DPS is there and it's gonna be GG. Because yeah, it's not doing nearly enough as predicted here yeah, against illusions and GG is called. No way to just come back with it. So very well played, for basically. Yeah, yeah. You did with that. You didn't look like it was really good. That was trying, but at the same time. Pentanetsu got all the all the farm that he wanted. They haven't been able to really shut him down, and yeah, Arises rotations right on the mark every single time. Then very good plays there together with uh, Witch Doctor, especially that pick off on the Luna. Yeah, just all around very good play for basically unknown. Yeah, they did, and they were. I was expecting them to win one, and they also did. That's just good for them. We will be having actually. Pretty long break, yeah, because one of the matches was moved up, another one will be re rescheduled. We have an hour break now. After that, we're coming back with two, three, plus it's 1800. We have basically an hey, hey. After that, at uh, 1900 CT, we have hey, hey versus Dusa Gaming. I will be joined there with Slash, Bright from My Insanity. That's actually gonna be it. Well, Dragon, thank you for joining me uh, today, and yeah, you got any. Other shout outs again. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for having me. And yeah, if, if you if you enjoyed my casting, if you want to give me any feedback, head on over to Twitter at DragonDropDota. I'd be really happy about any sort of feedback that you could give me. Or any sort of encouragement, flames, whatever you want, really. And yeah, once again, thanks for having me, man. Anytime yeah. again. Yeah, no problem. And also, guys, make sure you follow us because all the whole tournament will be sent out here on the EN channel. See you guys later. Bye bye.